My name is Michael McMenamin, and the latest book my son Patrick and I have written is The Gemini Agenda. And my name is Patrick McMenamin, and I am the better looking co author of our Winston Churchill thriller series. One reviewer called Winston Churchill Meets Indiana Jones. We like to use little known historical facts as a backdrop for our adventure stories. People don't realize or remember that democracy was in peril in the 1930s. It was thought to be a thing of the past. Fascism, Nazism, communism was thought to be the way of the future. And so we picked the era 1929 to 1939 to correspond to the time of Winston Churchill's wilderness years when he was out of power, out of office, and a lone voice in the wilderness warning against the rise of Nazi Germany and other totalitarian states. The 1930s represented a moment in, in history when things could have turned out a lot worse for all of us. And so it's a fascinating period to sort of start any kind of adventure story. And let's be honest, I mean, Churchill also was just more fun than anybody else in the 1930s. I mean, he, you know, he drank, he smoked cigars, and he had better one-liners than anybody else. So, you know, what's not to like? He viewed politics on a spectrum of liberty and freedom at one end and authoritarian totalitarianism at the other, and he recognized that both communism and Nazism were a threat. He simply saw Nazism as the greater threat, the more revolutionary movement. Joe Stalin didn't excite the masses. Adolf Hitler did. Adolf Hitler had a real movement behind him. Joe Stalin had the Red Army. Our protagonist is Burke Cochran Jr., the fictional son of Cochran who was childless. Burke Cochran Sr., as we call him, was in fact the political and economic mentor of Winston Churchill. And when creating a protagonist for the Winston Churchill thrillers, we wanted someone who had a natural relationship to Churchill and who better than the son of Churchill's own political mentor. By choosing as a protagonist the son of a classical liberal free trader like Burke Cochran, we created a protagonist that reflected our own views. And therefore, as he goes through our books, we'll have many of the same reactions to the issues of the day that Patrick and I would. Yeah, and I think that's part of the fun part about being, having a chance to write historical novels is that libertarians don't have a lot of historical heroes to, to cheer for. Uh, and this guy actually existed. It's amazing to me to think about there was actually an American politician that was libertarian in almost every sense of the word. And unfortunately, he didn't have any children, but we created one, and we've given him uh, Indiana Jones type adventures. This started out as my dad's concept. It, it, you had thought about this. I've heard about this when I was in high school, and then I read the first draft when I was in college, and I started getting involved in editing it and trying to cut it down. Eventually, I was writing entire new chapters. And we found we actually had fun doing it. There is one awkward part in, in writing a book with your father. There are several sex scenes in our books, and there's nothing much more awkward than editing your own father's sex scenes. So, uh, but we're still friends.